Hi, today I want to talk about how to identify buckthorn in your woodlot. Here's some buckthorn right over here. As you can see, the leaves are kind of a dull dark green and they have like three to five of these veins in them and the edges are a little, just slightly toothed, mildly toothed, yeah. and the leaves are oval shaped. This is common buckthorn or European buckthorn, and there are other kinds of buckthorn that we can find in the forest. Let's go see if we can find some. Well, there's all kinds of buckthorn in here, mostly common buckthorn. As you can see, here's some common buckthorn, the leaves I just showed you. But here is some glossy buckthorn. And glossy buckthorn is a little different. That there's no serrated serration on the leaves and uh, they can be a little glossier looking leaf let's pull this out and see what the roots look like okay the roots um, are not real fibrous they just have uh, a more bare root look than a regular buckthorn let me show you a regular buckthorn Here's a common buckthorn here. As, as you can see, the roots are much more fibrous and hold the dirt better. So there's a, quite a difference in the root systems of the two. The glossy buckthorn also uh, has a property in the spring where when you Try to pull the buckthorn out, the, the uh, bark of the buckthorn just slips right off of it. Some people call it slippery buckthorn. And then you're left with the, the bare twig in the ground and you haven't pulled the root system out. As you can see back here, some of these buckthorn have gotten pretty big. This here is buckthorn here. And you can see how it's... Uh, gotten much taller than the other ones I showed you. Here's some here that are quite tall. They can grow as high as 25 feet. The other thing about buckthorn is the bark. If you look at the the bark as you tear, take this tree down, you can see that yellowish uh, layer in the bark. And that's very common with buckthorn. One thing that happens in the fall is the leaves on the other trees start to turn uh, and fall off before the buckthorn do, so it's easier to identify the buckthorn. Here's a little tree sapling here that is not buckthorn, and uh, it looks kind of similar, but you can see the edges are much ser more serrated. The leaves aren't as the leaves aren't as uh, dark a green and shaped a little differently. And this tree, the Right now it's early September and these leaves are already starting to turn and lose their color. Let's go see if we can find some bigger buckthorn. Here's some much taller buckthorn. You can see way up there. It's pretty tall and there's still a few berries on it. Got to get them berry. Got to get them ones with the berries out first so they don't drop more seeds. There are some small trees that have similar uh, leaves to buckthorn and are easily confused with buckthorn. One of them is dogwood. Uh, there's a bunch of gray dogwood in here. Let's take a look at these leaves and see how they differ from the common buckthorn. Yeah, these leaves are much narrower and uh, they're not as... Uh, pronounced uh, but they still look a lot like buckthorn leaves if you look at this leaf for instance it looks a lot like a buckthorn leaf but buckthorn leaves are a little darker and less shiny common buckthorn and have more rounded areas between the veins and of course the berries on the gray dogwood are these white berries and not the dark uh, purple berries that the common buckthorn have. So here's a whole 
hedge of gray dogwood that uh, if I wasn't paying attention, I might mistake for buckthorn and tear it out, and that would be a shame. So you got to be careful what you're doing out here and pay close attention. Here's an area that has beautiful ferns throughout the forest floor, and uh, that's the kind of thing you miss if you end up having an infestation of buckthorn taking over your property. The more you work with buckthorn eradication, the better you'll get at identifying the buckthorn, both common and glossy, and you'll be able to get rid of it off of your property. Another way to help identify is to go to your local uh, DNR, Department of Natural Resources, and see if they have any brochures that can help you identify uh, buckthorn. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get out there and try and, and uh, pull some buckthorn today. Bye now. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -da.